Hello and welcome. I'm, I'm back outside. The rain has eased off and so I can record this in the garden as um, autumn uh, comes behind me. We've got the leaves changing and the fruits uh, ripening on the trees and things and it's uh, just a very pleasant autumn day. So welcome to our, to our worship as we gather today. Let's begin with our um, opening responses. The Lord be with you and also with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So what's the theme for today? I hear you asking. The theme for today is, well, it's from a book in the Old Testament called Proverbs. And surprisingly enough, it's full of proverbs. Yeah, those kind of little pithy sayings that people have that help us to understand how the world works. And this comes from chapter 14 and it's verse four. And it says, without oxen, a stable stays clean, but you need a strong ox for a large harvest you might think hang on what what's that got to do that was written down three thousand years ago we've moved on from oxen we've got tractors and and combined harvesters for harvesting well you don't need to worry about oxen but like all proverbs it's actually just as applicable today as it was then because what's it saying is actually if you've got a stable but no oxen that stable is going to be nice and clean but you're not going to be able to get any work done because you've got nothing to put in there nothing to take out of there and use on the farm and if you've got a big harvest you're going to need something powerful to bring that harvest in with so you're going to need an ox so if you've got an ox you're going to have to put it in a stable and that stable's not going to be clean because oxes, oxen and uh, are by their very nature dirty animals you know they need cleaning they need feeding they need um, clean out those of you who look after horses or rabbits or guinea pigs know every now and then you've got to clean everything out haven't you you've got to do all of that but the rewards of the hard work are worth it and that's what the proverb is saying here there's always going to be things you have to do because there's going to be some time when you're going to need it so i was thinking about this um, and you might think about doing the washing you're always going to need to do the washing yeah you might not like doing the washing you might be a bit of a pain to hang out the washing but you're always going to need to do the washing because you're going to need clean clothes so you've got to put the labor in you've got to put the effort in you've got to put the hard work in and then you can reap the rewards later on it's just like playing in a football team if everybody was um, a center forward then who'd be in defense yep and so if you're a defender, you've got to learn how to defend properly. You learn how to read where the ball's going, where the opposition players are going to be, where you can do the intercept, the passers, where you can head the ball away. Although, obviously, these days we're not quite so keen on heading. Um, so all of those things draw back to this um, proverb from 3,000 years ago, written down in the book of Proverbs. Without an oxen, without oxen, a stable stays clean, but you need a strong ox for a large harvest. You've got to get down and dirty doing the stuff, the hard work, so you can reap the reward. And that perhaps means slogging away, doesn't it? If you're not all that good at maths or English, yeah, if you, perhaps if your writing's not all that good, kind of keep working at it. And in doing so, you'll find that actually becomes easier over time and you can reap the rewards because you've put in all that, all that hard work early on. Let's pray. Lord God, you give us so many wonderful gifts. Help us to use them to their fullest so that we and all our school community may benefit from them. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Take care of one another, okay? Utilise those gifts that God has given you, and work hard today and the rest of this week. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.